Okay, so this is going to be a quick explanation about how to make an extended cross. The extended cross is basically this, where you have the cross on the bottom or the top, however you solve it, and then one F2O pair is already inserted. You might ask, why don't you just make the cross and insert an F2O pair? Well, recently Thrust, or Tristan Wright, has started using a method where he gets a 2x2x2 block and builds the cross around it. In other words, an extended cross, and then he fills in three F2O pairs, and he's been getting very good times with it. So, obviously, getting a 2x2x2 block and building a cross around it, or an extended cross, is actually faster than building a cross and then inserting four F2O pairs. I'm going to be teaching you how to do it. So first what you want to do is build a 2x2x2 block in any corner, or if you only solve it from white, in one of these four corners. And the 2x2x2 two 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 block will look something like this. And then after you build the 2x2 two two block, you just build the rest of the two edge cross pieces around it, and then you have the the extended cross. So the first thing you want you're gonna want to do when you're building a 2x2x2 two by two by two block is you want to build a 2x2x1 two by two by little square here. And what I'm going to do is look for something like this, where I can make this 2x2x2 two by two by block here. And how I did that was I basically put one of the cross pieces in and then I set up one of the cross pieces so that it could be inserted in one move and then the corner that touches the other piece is on the down layer and then I quickly look for the corner that would go here and it's right here and I would insert it bring it up and I find the remaining edge piece that goes right there move the 2x2x2 two by two by two block 2x2x1 two by two by block out of the way move this in and bring this back and then I would build the cross like that so for this scramble I'm scanning the cube first thing I see this right here I also see this and I notice that this white and blue sides are right next to each other so I can easily make a block there so first I'm gonna move one of the edges into the place then leave this down here because I know I can get it there but I want to leave it so that it's open or I can easily put the corner piece in there so that when I move it up I will have a 2x2x1 two two block and so the piece red white and blue is right there I'm going to put it in like that and move it up and then the piece that goes here is flipped so I'm just going to do it like that there's no real algorithms for this you just kind of have to see how the cube works and how you can rotate corners and really quick I'm going to teach you how to rotate corners so I am looking at from this point of view, this corner. So there's three ways I can move this corner. I can move it using the right side, the upside, or the front side. They all move this corner. And so each side will move the corner a different way. Like if I move it with the right side, now the blue is facing up. If I move it with the upside, the yellow is facing up. If I move it with the front side, then now the red is facing up. So that's how you can rotate corners. Let's say I wanted this over here with the red side up. I could do this. If I wanted it over there with the blue side up, I would do this. 
say I wanted it here with the red side up, I would do that. And it's a good exercise to do stuff like this. Just say, okay, I'm going to try to get this piece here with the blue side up. Okay, and now let's try red side up. And if you do that enough, you'll be able to see how corners are manipulated and rotated. Now going back to the 2x2x2 two by two by two block. Let's scramble a little more. Okay, so first I see this. Well, it's not very helpful because I want the two corners to be in the right place. Here, orange is in the wrong place. If I align this, none of these are in the right place. So that's not very helpful. I'm going to look for something else. Okay, I did find something useful. It's associated with this and this. Okay, watch what I do. Then I look for the corner after I set these two up. The corner is right there. Now, I know I can move it there like that. And then before I put this there, I'm going to look for this piece, which is the piece that goes here. It's right there. Align that, the centers. Move it up like that. Then bring the slice over. Then I build the cross on top of that, or around that. So if you don't get it now, you can, uh, first I think you should try practicing uh, manipulating corners. And if you still don't get it, you can comment or message me and I'll try to answer your question as best I can. Thanks. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.